Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to finally address this 2007 loss proof full size Zippo lighter that still has the orange safety sticker or warning sticker on the back still has the price sticker on the front we're going to remove that safety sticker and get inside and take a look at the insert and see what kind of condition that flint is in after 14 15 years of being sealed off in that lighter I've really been torn as to what to do with this lighter. I have decided that I'm going to sell it, and that may seem counterintuitive then that I'm going to take that sticker off. If I were to sell this lighter without removing the sticker, I would make note that the flint is likely degraded and obstructing the flint tube. But as it is, I've decided for my own curiosity's sake, and also hopefully for the good of the channel, that I want to peel the sticker off for one to see if it does any kind of damage to the finish or leaves any kind of film or shadow behind as we have talked about in the past I have not decided for sure whether or not I'm going to remove the price sticker I may leave the price sticker if it looks like the warning sticker comes off without too much trouble but if it looks like we're going to have to do quite a bit of cleaning from the warning sticker, then I'll probably go ahead and take that price sticker off as well. I have this curiosity that starts beating in my head, and I'm reminded of a couple of years ago when I went up to the National Lighter Museum in Guthrie, Oklahoma, and visited with Ted Ballard. Ted has been collecting cigarette lighters since right after the Second World War. He's had lighters pass through his hands that I'll never know anything about. He told me that five years was about as long as a flint would last inside of a lighter if it was inactive, if the lighter was not being used. So, as I said, I still don't know what we're going to find when we get in here. Um, you can see that video playing behind me as we are... Uh, speaking now and I have no idea as I am recording this portion of the video I have no idea what we're going to find inside of here so I will see you guys on the other side I've got my can of Zippo fuel that seems to be what everybody says does the the best job of cleaning the residue of the sticker off if we end up with residue from the sticker and then I also have my drill bits so that we can uh, clear that flint tube. I'll be shocked if we get in there and that flint tube is not obstructed. Not so surprisingly, the warning sticker peeled right off. From the conversations that I have seen in the Zippo Addicts Facebook group and some of the other Zippo groups online, I was pretty sure that this one being from the late 2000s was more of a uh, synthetic or plastic type stock rather than the paper stickers that everyone complained so much about from the 1990s. It did leave a little bit of a film and uh, just a, a little bit of a shadow, a little bit of a mark but we will get some lighter fluid and a cotton ball and take care of that no problem. When I saw how light the film or residue was that was left behind by the warning sticker, I decided just to go ahead and leave the price sticker attached. The price sticker to me provides enough aesthetic appeal and the little bit of adhesive that might be left behind by it will be cleaned up easy enough by whoever purchases this lighter. The insert was obviously in very good condition, obviously brand new. There are no 
scrape marks from the lid crossing over the chimney. Everything looks nice and clean. The plating is all intact. Nice clean wick. The wadding and felt pad are all perfectly white. No contamination or discoloration of any kind. The flint spring screw was very tight and I may have marred that screw up just a little bit. I think that screwdriver slipped in my hand. As I went to turn that bulky short screwdriver in that small slot for the flint spring. You can see up top when we move the file wheel, I'm not striking it against that, but you can see that it does move back and forth which is an indication that the flint is not degraded, that it is still intact and we should be good. I couldn't see it well enough before I got it out of there to know. But if that had been the tip of the flint spring screw or the tip of the flint spring, then obviously we could have marred it up by turning that. Either way, we would have had a clear flint tube. If the flint had been degraded in that tube, the wheel would have either been turning freely or been stuck. As it was, the flint tube is perfectly clear with a brand new looking flint in it that has been grooved on one side. So I'm going to take that sticker and place it inside this small plastic bag that will be included with the lighter. I am also going to take the flint and put that inside of a small plastic bag as well and put it inside that bag with the other one. So all of this would be included when I sell this lighter. I should probably have this lighter listed later in the week. I had determined beforehand just from the comps that I pulled up on eBay that I was going to ask $60 for it and that's what I'm going to ask for it still so we will see just like all those new listings the new buy it now listings when they first go up they all have a make offer option on them there are listings from time to time that for whatever reason maybe it's because of the offers that I've gotten maybe it's because of offers that I have not gotten but from time to time, I do take a lighter off of the make offer and just leave it with a firm buy it now price. So that would be the lighter that you are buying, the lighter that you are purchasing with the price sticker still on it, the lanyard loop, the loss proof still attached, appears to be unused, undamaged, and it comes with well, as I said, the sticker and the flint will be in that plastic bag. It will also come in a box that is made specifically for a loss-proof Zippo lighter. There is not a label on the back of the box, but the insert that the lighter fits in and that the lanyard is coiled around is made specifically for the loss-proof. Until next time.